version and I'm going to run you through my Google Summer of Code project for Drupal titled Auto Tagging Articles Using Semantic Analysis, Topic Modeling and Machine Learning or renamed as ML Tag. Now, learning algorithms are being widely used nowadays in software, web applications for value creation and cost avoidance. The best example of learning algorithms is one used by Google that learns from your past search in history to deliver you better search results or advertisements. Amazon and Netflix also use learning algorithms to provide an accurate predict prediction of what consumers want. So, one of my main aims while starting this GSOC project was to integrate a learning algorithm along with Drupal that learns basically on two things. Number one, on your past web content on the Drupal website and number two, on your tagging patterns that is, how you tag those articles or content. By this, my project will then predict appropriate or relevant tags for your new content that you are about to post on your Drupal website. Those of you who are aware of machine learning will know how important it is to have a good corpus to train the model on. But given the fact that content on a website can be on tens of thousands of topics, so getting an exhaustive dataset is difficult. Hence, that was the problem I had to solve for my project. What I ended up using is this particular paper titled Keyword Extraction from a Single Document Using Word Co-Occurrence Statistical Information by two professors. This paper proposes a revolutionary idea of uh, getting tags from, from content without the need for any corpus. I have uploaded a flowchart for this paper on my project wiki page. Uh, let us uh, go through this quickly. Uh, so what we do is we have a preprocessor. Uh, ML tag has powerful NLP libraries such as the tokenizer, the photo simmer, the stoppers remover and uh, normalizer. We extract the top 30% of the frequent terms from the content, uh, cluster them using jensen shamandan divergence and form a word versus frequent terms matrix. We go on to perform some manipulations on this particular matrix and calculate the chi-square values for each term. Now, in the end, the terms with the highest chi-square value are the tags. This algorithm takes care of proposing tags from the current content only. ML tag also has a learning algorithm in place that learns on the past website content and also on, on the tagging patterns of the user. Here is the flowchart for this. This is also uploaded on the project wiki page. Let's run through this quickly. In order to train the model, what we are doing is we, uh, we take the existing website content extract tags from each of the previous articles using uh, the co-occurrence uh, algorithm. Then what we do is we rank these terms based on the chi-square values using a uh, z-score ranking method and we end up with a ranked list of terms. Also, we have a set of explicit terms that have been used by the user to tag the uh, past content. What we do is we pick up these terms and store them in tag sets. These uh, have a higher priority uh, as compared with the ranked list of terms. Then given a new data, what we do is we compare these tag sets with the new content. If a matching term is found, we add the particular tag set to the learn tags array. Also the ranked list of uh, terms is compared with the, um, the, with the new content and the top end ranked terms are extracted. So the final tags are a combination of both these processes. Uh, what we get in the end. Okay, so we have MLTag installed and running right now. So let us jump to the configuration page. Uh, let us choose this MLTag settings option. Uh, so first we have an option to select the algorithm. Uh, we have two sets of algorithms up and running right now. The first one is a coherence algorithm about which we discussed earlier. The second one is a term frequency algorithm which is a simple algorithm that just proposes tags uh, based on the frequency of occurrence of a particular word in the, in the current content. Next, you have an option to enable learning algorithm. If you deselect this option, ML tag will only propose terms based on the current content and no learn tags will be proposed. So let us choose this option. <clears throat> Next, you can see the status for the model. It says that the model has not been trained till now. So let us go and perform training for this particular model right here and uh, clicking it, uh, the training will be done. It depends, the time will depends on the content already existing on the website. Yeah, so the model has been successfully trained. So once we go back to the configuration page, you can actually see that uh, the model uh, was last trained on this particular date and time. So next, you have an option uh, 
to whether you want to train the model on both published and unpublished content if you want so you can choose this option otherwise resetting this option will train the model only on the published content next um, uh, uh, next you have a list of uh, vocabularies defined under the taxonomy module so what you can do is choose any particular vocabulary uh, right here and uh, once you train the model so once you train the model the terms under that particular vocabulary will be will be used during the training process and also will be given a higher priority as compared to rest of the terms okay so moving down you have uh, uh, the node types so you can just select uh, uh, whatever nodes you want to use ml tag on and then you can go about saving the configuration okay uh, so let us let me show you what all contents I have currently on my Drupal website. Uh, all these articles are all based on astronomy. Uh, there's one on Earth, black holes, and uh, this is just for testing purposes. Something entirely different. Our picture of the universe, space and time, uh, elementary particles and forces of nature, black holes. So uh, these are all similar in nature. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let us choose this particular space and time. Um, uh, article it has been tagged with space time and universe words so let us go about editing this article so okay so this particular article talks about uh, Galileo's experiment experiment with the uh, weight that uh, the force of gravity is uh, is applied equally on all bod bodies and uh, if you scroll down you can see that ML tag has this particular button right here suggest so tag and we propose two sets of tags here implicit tags and the learn tags so if you press this button um, okay, so it says that weight has the highest chi square values followed by dropping bodies uh, and so forth. So these are the words that, that describe the current article best. Uh, scrolling down you can see that a set of learned tags have also been proposed. Um, these are the tags that have not been derived from the current content but are uh, have been derived using the model which we trained earlier. So uh, what we can do is uh, select any tags you want. Uh, to tag the content, let us select particle history, then let us say Aristotle, and uh, what all we have, let us say balls, and uh, okay. So once we press the save button, um, what this will do that uh, it will update the article. So space and time has been updated. That means space, balls, particle history, Aristotle have all been added to this article as tags. Also, uh, the trained model for ML tag has simultaneously been updated so whatever changes uh, del additions deletions whatever changes you're making to your current content or posting new content simultaneously the model will also be upgraded so you need not go through training the model every now and then uh, the changes will be automatically incorporated okay so future work for event tag is uh, adding new algorithms to this list right here I'll be aiming at uh, the latent direct allocation algorithm which is also known as the LDA and also the expectation maximization algorithm which both these algorithms have uh, better prediction capabilities and uh, yeah so that is the way forward for me right now yeah so uh, thanks a lot for listening please try out my mod module and uh, I'll be happy to take some feedback with both positive or negative I'll surely look into it and incorporate the changes Thanks a lot. This is Arjun Kapoor signing off. Good night.